it's a f***ing mess people from start to finish let's be blunt about this whole thing you get a conservative government been ruling the united kingdom for 11 plus years now they are totally unaccountable for their actions there is no opposition whatsoever trying to deal with this system it's driving me mad we will have a test track and trace operation uh, that will be world beating world beating world beating <laughs> So the NHS track and trace system is supposed to be a system implemented by the government in order to end all lockdowns. So what the uh, Conservative Party in terms of projects does and it always does this it, it always tries to reinvent the wheel they refuse to use existing knowledge they refuse to use existing resources they refuse to use existing advice on things that are already out there Yes, 37 billion. I mean, if you break it down, well, let's break it down. Let's, let's do the breakdown. So you have a staff of 25,000 people, right? From the video, we could see that if you go through and do a breakdown of what they get per day, it looks like it's a hundred pounds per shift. So a hundred pounds per day. I mean, there's substantial sums of money going out the door, and we don't know exactly what it's achieving. The Public Accounts Committee is going to be looking at this, the National Audit Office is looking at this, but we don't have any more information as we sit here right now. We need to see how our money's being spent. They should never shy away from being open about how taxpayers' money's being spent, because in the end, we're all going to have to pay this back over however many years. It's not free money, it belongs to the British public. The Department of Health and Social Care says the service is one of the largest testing and contact tracing systems in the world. It works with a wide range of public and private sector partners who are all experts in call handling and that initial technical issues were resolved quickly. It says more information about how funding is being spent will be published next summer. I think one of the unfortunate things that NHS Test and Trace has had, and it's like a millstone around its neck, was the Prime Minister's statement that this was going to be a world-class service. One, uh, and then two, Mark. Can I just come in on one vital point on this? How do you measure total capacity? Because the Prime Minister has said that there was a 375,000 capacity. You've now told the committee today that there's a 242,817 capacity. That seems to be a, a reduction in the capacity of the Prime Minister said, but, but how do you measure the capacity and do you need to revise how it is assessed? The figures I've quoted you are antigen testing. The figures the Prime Minister was quoting are combined antigen and antibody testing. So they're completely consistent. Um, 
And, and so you've made a very important point. So the capacity that you have created I can certainly give the House the assurance that our test and trace system is as good as or better than any other system anywhere in the world. And yes, it will play it will play a vital it will play a vital part in ensuring that we do not have a second spike this winter. Don't follow the rules we've set out, then we must reserve the right to go further. There are unquestionably difficult months to come and the fight against COVID is by no means over. And for some reason, there doesn't seem to be any uproar. No one's making a fuss. No one's asking for further investigations into the audit of this system. No one's asking why the system doesn't work. Who has, who was responsible? Pop a comment down below. Give me some um, ideas on. Uh, what uh, you want in future videos and i will do my best to come at you guys okay good luck and i'm out <laughs>